Hello everyone and welcome to the Mugen palette editing tutorial um by High5534. Now, let's get started. First of all, you need Fighter Factory. Um let's open that up there. And you need a character that you want to change the palette on. So, what we want to do is we want to go up to the top on the t on the, the toolbar thingy where it says sprites and we want to open the character. Sorry, I was in that was I was in my stages. So you want to open the character and you want to go into your chars folder. Which means characters of course. Um what am I doing? Ah Okay, so now we're just gonna pick a character, any character. Uh let's open How about, um, Ryu from Street Fighter 2. So now I need to find a dev file, his dev file, and Ryu sucks because I can't find anything with him. Ah, here we are. Now, you want to find their basic stance formation, their stance sprite. In this case, it would be that. So now what we want to do is we need to open the palette for that character, but zoom all the way in so you can get a pretty good pixelated image. Open the spread the S the act file that you want and oh crap what did I do that for um let's just open that again so now there is his incomplete palette all the colors that he has now you want to click now you want to get the eyedropper tool and you want to click any color on it it should show up in the black part and then you want to click the button define custom color so let me just do that because I'm getting ahead of myself okay now we're gonna define that color okay so now you wanna move that little cross thing any color on there and then you wanna adjust its brightness so let's make him yellow then you gotta click add to custom colors press ok then you want to click the view image using this palette button and lo and behold now he's yellow okay now I'm gonna move him to green and you gotta remember to click add to custom colors do that wow he's green well somewhat green um now let's do this one more time let's do a red Well. Okay, I'm really getting ahead of here. Okay, now we're gonna do a blue. Click add to custom colors. View palette. Ah, oh, he's a rainbow. So now you just want to zoom out so you can see that. Um, interesting, is it not? Um, some of my some of my other characters that were I called them created were actually edited. Um, and so yeah. Now you want to save that and your sprites too. Don't forget that. Now you want to go through though first and check to see if the palette has been has been transferred through every sprite. And to make sure that happens, you want to click the button that says shared palette. Always turn that on. It may not work for the first sprite, but eventually on the second one, if you turn it on, the character is going to have that same palette that you did for the first sprite. And now, my Ryu is edited. He's got totally new colors and all that. So, yeah, and this is fairly simple. The only reason I put this for the second one was because some people might not might not get it on the first time. And plus, it may take a little longer if you want to get even more sophisticated. Sorry, big word. So... Yep, there you go. And in my next tutorial, I'll show you how to code special moves and actually add a basic move. So, well, that about leaves it with this tutorial. Um, so, yeah, have fun making your own characters or creating an illusion of that. And, yeah, see you in the next tutorial.